So in order to apply a hybrid use benefit license to an Azure VM with PowerShell, the first thing we're going to need to do is connect to the Azure RM account, which I've already done in this case. And the next thing we're going to do is look at all the Azure RM VMs that we've got available to us with just the name, resource group name, and license type. So in order to select one of these virtual machines, I'm going to use the outgrid view function and use the pass through parameter to select one of those virtual machines. And I'm going to pipe that into a variable. So if we run this line, we'll get an outgrid view window appear that we can select a virtual machine. And I'm going to select the Exchange 2012 machine at the top of the list here. So if we now look at that VM target variable, we've now got one virtual machine with a blank license type against it. So in order to apply the license, I'm going to create a quick function that I'm going to call set Azure RM VM Pub license. And I'm going to take in the parameter of that VM target. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a variable in there and take in the Azure RMVM details whilst feeding it the resource group name and the name of the virtual machine that we got from the VM target. So if we run that, we'll see now that we've got a $VM variable with some details. Now what we need to do is set the license type for that VM variable to Windows Server. So if I run that line and then go back and look at the VM variable again, we'll now notice that we've got a license type of Windows Server. So finally, we need to update the Azure RM VM and that will update those details. So if we load this function into memory and then run the function and give it the target VM of $VM target and run that, so now if we go and run our get Azure RM VM line of code here again, we should get all of our virtual machines. And we'll notice that at the top of the list here is the Exchange 2019 server with Windows Server license against it. And in fact, if we go to the Azure console and look at virtual machines and find our Exchange server and go into configuration on the left-hand side here, we'll notice that the hybrid use benefit is now switched on. So it's also possible to remove that with PowerShell. So let's take our function here again and paste it in down below and change this to be remove. So this is going to remove our hybrid use benefit license. And we're going to set the license type in this instance to none. So if we load this into memory and we run this function again, the same way we did the set and give it the VM target of $VM target and run that line. So if we go and run our line of code at the top here to get the Azure RM VM with the license type and scroll up to the Exchange server, we'll notice that it's now got a license type of none. And if we go back to the Azure console, hit refresh, we'll see that the Azure hybrid use benefit now is set to no. Thanks for watching.